What's going on guys, my name is James and today I'm going to be showing you the best render settings for Sony Vegas 12. First thing you want to do is open up Sony Vegas 12 and then open a clip you have in a folder, whatever clip you want to render out. You have your clip on your timeline as so and then the second thing you want to do when you have your clip in your timeline is go to properties at the top here, click it once and then come over here to this button which says match media video settings you just press it and find the clip you just imported into Sony Vegas and then press find it click it and then press open on it it'll then bring up all the settings for the clip so everything's right it'll give you the right frame rate the right pixel format and the right width so it's 720p and then all you want to do is hit start on new project with these settings press apply and then OK the second thing you want to do is right click properties disable resample this will stop any ghosting etc on your videos so you don't want any of that and if you have any color correction like I do here add color correction to your video I have another tutorial which shows color correction so I'll link that in the description if you want to watch that right after you've done that and you've got your clip and you want and you've got it all split and cut ready to render the last thing you want to do is go up top to render go down to WMV Windows Media Video V11 click the little drop down arrow and click the 8 megabytes HD 1080p video click customize template this is vile you need to customize it what you want to do is when you go to video you want to go to custom and I have 1080p by, so that's wrong, 1920 by 1080. This is full 1080p HD. I then change the frame rate to what my what's my Blackmagic records with, which is 59.94 frames per second. Sharpness 100 and pixel aspect ratio needs to be put to square. That is vital, or you'll have massive big black bars at the top and bottom of your video. Then go to bitrate. Change your bitrate to 10 million, so 10 mil. And then the last project box, you want to go to video rendering quality and put best. After you've done that, all you want to do is go to template and rename it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it best rendering settings. And then I hit the little save button here, save template, so you don't have to type all this in over and over again. You just hit OK. And then, as you see, a best rendering settings template is at the bottom. If you hit favorite, it'll be there. So when you come out to render again and only show favorites, it'll be right there. So you just press it and then you hit render. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope this tutorial helped you in some way. And uh, remember to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. See you later guys. Bitch. If you need me, I'll be in the White House, bitch.